We have all had teachers in life that inspire us to do better and to be better. They show us possibilities and they give us a glimmer of light at the end of a dark tunnel. We have all also had teachers who seem to take pleasure from our humiliation and pain. Typically when you upset a teacher, you end up sitting in the dean's office with a referral awaiting your sentence. Not when you upset Mr. Baker. With Mr. Baker, it's personal. Name the four immediate successors to the president in an event of his death according to the 25th Amendment. How about you, Mr. Phillips? You see, class, some people are better off just being completely removed from the gene pool. Meet Mr. Baker, the most feared teacher on the George Jenkins campus. Rumor has it that in 2004, a student questioned his effectiveness as an instructor. If you guys do not do well on this, it is your demise. This is bullcrap, Baker. I've had it. You're ridiculous. I hate you. And you're bald. Needless to say, the student was sent home on an extended vacation to reevaluate his attitude. Mr. Baker was not above framing students he didn't care for. Uh, it seems like you got no respect for me. You know, you just don't... Look at that! Mr. Murray. What? What do we have here? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Yes, you do. No, I just I found don't. it in your backpack. I want to be in my backpack. Yeah, Mr. Murray, denial is the first step towards the dark side, my friend. I have two witnesses that saw me pull this filth from your backpack. They'll corroborate my story. We saw it, Mr. Baker. We saw it. Meet Allie and Ariel. Genocidal? Perhaps. Effective? Absolutely. I'll get you back, Mr. Baker. I'll get you back. Mr. Baker, like any teacher, has his favorites who can do no wrong. There was a time when I used to be a part of his triumvirate that consisted of the three A's, Allie, Audrey, and Ariel. It was over a disagreement that I was excommunicated. I was the fall from grace. Some students seem to think that teachers have no life after three o'clock. But believe me, that's not true at all. Most teachers lead quite interesting lives after the bell. Mr. Baker was no different. He was chief executive officer for Baker Enterprises, Inc. He believed that... Teachers can have a huge impact on the future of America while staying involved in all business aspects, including the guidance and preparation of today's youth. See, these teenagers don't need to be coddled people. What they need is life lessons, and I'm here to deliver. He was the Dirty Harry of Polk County Education. If you stayed out of his way, you were fine. Unfortunately, I was already on his radar. Audrey, thanks for coming today. Walk in whenever you feel like it, okay? I have a pass, Mr. Baker. A pass? I don't care about your pass. You're late to my class. I was making up a test for Miss Collins. Miss Collins, that's wonderful. So math is more important than government now. Audrey. I'm surprised you can remember to breathe sometimes. Mr. Presley, who is the Secretary of Defense? Uh, Donald Rumsfeld, sir. Donald Rumsfeld. Yes. Two years ago, you would have been right. Robert Gates is now the Secretary of Defense. 
You realize that all over the world, villages need idiots, and you're depriving them of one? Get up. Now sit down before I get upset. Was that really necessary, sir? I have two college degrees, and you're going to come in here and tell me how to run my classroom. You just threw a student out of a window. Allie, Ariel. We didn't see a thing, Mr. Baker. Prove it. Face it, Audrey. The universe hates you, and so do I. This has gone too far. You used to be one of my brightest, most promising students. And now you're the Anakin to my Obi-Wan. What can I do for you, miss? Mr. Looney, I'm here to report a problem. Get to the point, my time is precious. A teacher threw a student out of a window. Out of a window? This is bad. Mr. Baker did it during fifth period. Was the window open or closed when the student exited? He was thrown through a window. Okay, I'll put a work order in. Hopefully it doesn't rain before it's fixed. Welcome, young soldier of education. What can I do for you? Mr. Thomas, that I'm... General Thomas. Excuse me? It's General Thomas. General Thomas. You see, we in education are at war with ignorance, so the title's appropriate. It's like General George S. Patton once said, untutored courage is useless in the face of educated bullets. You see, we in education and leadership... M General like Thomas, to... I'm here to file a grievance. Mr. Baker threw a student out of a window in fifth period. A grievance against Mr. Baker? Yes, sir. Sounds to me like we should be grieving the poor kid. Until recently, I had not been the object of Mr. Baker's wrath. Now that it was directed at me, I didn't like it. I began to regret I'd ever been a part of his clique. How many people had been hurt by us? There you go. Audrey. to a crossroads. There are keys in the ignition of the car in front of you. You have a choice. You can leave now and fail your test, or you can proceed to the 19th floor and find me in the corner office for what may be your final test. It's your choice. Pass or fail. Let the grading begin. Oh, that was great. We're keeping that one right there. I mean, she's going to be scared. She ain't going to know what to do. Good morning, Audrey. Sleep well? Hey, you're right, Allie. Ariel's hitch kick is three inches lower than yours. You said, what, about my hitch kick? Well, hey, at least I'm not the one with man thighs. Oh, I would so much rather have man thighs than Frodo feet. I do not have Frodo feet. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> 
Teachers don't kidnap students. You were never in harm's way. Why did you go to so much trouble to bring me here? Please, do not flatter yourself. Teachers invest more in their students every day than you can ever imagine. I don't understand. Why do you even bother teaching when you already have all of this? All of this? My father left me all of this. I mean, sure, with a couple clicks of the mouse, I can change a few policies in here. But a teacher, a real teacher, they can make changes out there. And I know it sounds so cliche. I'm surprised. You act like you hate people most of the time. No, I don't hate people. What I hate is mediocrity, and most students reek of it. You know how difficult it is to sit by day after day and watch something you care passionately about be ignored or discarded? It can make you bitter. You care passionately about American government? I care passionately about people, so yes, I do. I mean, there was a time when teachers were looked up to and respected, and now they're not even worth the pennies that society throws at them. It's a joke. You brought me up here to make a political statement? No, I brought you up here because you said I was angry and childish. Aren't you? Yeah. Put this on. What is it? Just. Put it on. Morocco, is the building clear? Yes, sir. This area is clear. Listen to me. In a few seconds, this building is going to explode. What? Don't worry about it. We were going to remodel anyway. You're wearing a parachute. There is only one way out for you. Good luck. What about you? Don't forget to pull the cord. Are you crazy? Yeah, I'm a teacher! So what did we learn today, Audrey? Never cross a teacher. Good enough. See you in class tomorrow. Tonight when I go home, my mom may ask, what did you do in school today, Audrey? I'll probably say the same thing I've said a thousand times before. Nothing. And when she asks, what did you learn today, Audrey? I'll probably say nothing again. It's easier than explaining what really happened. And what did happen, you ask? Nothing. It was just another day in high school, where the teachers are a little crazy. The day lasts forever but the possibilities are endless.
<laughs> I think we're done, Rick. <laughs>